but we've still got some skaters to come. Steven Gogolev is up next. He represents Ontario. He's 19 years old, out of the Grand Skating Club. He's coached by Raphael Aradonian and also Lee Barkel. He's choreographed in the short by the great Shailen Bourne, 2003 World Ice Dance Champion with Victor Kratz. Now doing incredible choreography around the world, skating to the sound of silence by Disturbed. Well, unfortunate on those jumping passes, but to look at his skating over the last number of years and then to look at the performance that he showed tonight, choreography-wise, he looked outstanding that well, th way. This is the best he's skated. This is the, the best he's yeah. looked, yes. Yeah, great job by Shailene Bourne. I, I suspect that he's injured. We've heard something we don't know. We don't have all the details. This is. He's been really stretching his back over yeah. the over the warm-up, and then here you see this is Again. an athlete in a little bit of distress. This is not 100% healthy. And so that obviously is going to have impact technically. Of course. And you saw it, especially at the end of the quad sow, he was not comfortable after that. No. And then it was making it through until the end of the program at that yeah. point. And greatly appreciated for the audience trying to encourage yeah. him along the way. Yeah. yeah. And I give him a lot of cre for credit for the effort, but more credit for the choreography and his commitment to enter that that element of skating which he has really lacked and you can see it growing so once he gets healthy we'll see a different Stephen Gogolev and there are improvements no question David. Here you can see the stretch the movement with his head and then here unfortunate on the quad toe just the arms get a little it was really quick off the takeoff 
So forcing it into a double and then here, rotated the quad sow and then took a couple seconds there to, to stand back up. Mm. And then not quite in the right space to be able to get no. himself up into the air for that triple axle. Hard enough when you're healthy. Extremely difficult when you're healthy. Um, a lot of the times in competition, adrenaline takes over and you don't necessarily feel the pain. But if you are injured and you can feel it while you're competing, mm. it's very distracting. Yeah. But he really pushed through until the end of that program. And like you said, this is the, well, I, both of us have said, <laughs> this is the most attention to detail in choreography that I've ever received from him, even from his junior yeah, and days. He, he may not take that as sort of a consolation, but in the building of an athlete, this, this is a, an important improvement. You know, bad day, injured, not feeling well, all of that. But I was never, I was always wondering, would he ever begin to discover and explore the space around him with his choreography and his body? We saw that tonight, and that's very, very good news for his future once he gets himself healthy. And we talked about changing coaches a lot. Well, often you've seen a different coach in the Kiss and Cry with Steven at every competition this season. He's worked a lot more closely with Lee and Lee's been more consistent with him. Yeah. Which, it comes in handy, consistency. And you know, as a coach and with parents and friends and family, your heart just sinks and you don't want the skaters to feel what they're feeling right at the moment. And it's part of the process, 53.80, that is 11th in the short program. This is not unfamiliar territory for him, but I think with this injury, it's going to be hard in the free program to come back if he skates, we'll see. But improvement has been made. 